Hello and welcome to another part in our Game Maker 2 How To series and today we'll be following on from our tile sets video and looking at auto tiling which is kind of like magic. So if you look at my screen what we'll be doing will enable you to build a level a little bit like this. And there we have it. Um, auto tiling enables you to build levels very, very quickly through the use of a template called an auto tile template. And that's what we're going to have a look at right now. So, the first thing we need to know or observe is. The fact that there are a couple of different types of auto tiling templates. There's one called a 47 tile template, a very strange number I know, and one called a 16 tile template. They are actually, and I didn't know this, but they're actually used for kind of different sort of games. So if you want to do a platformer, you're better off doing a 47 tile template. Uh, unfortunately, because <laughs> that's the harder one to do. Um, but if you are doing something like a, where does it say, 16 tile auto tiles with 16 tiles being used for top down or landscapes, there you go, and 47 being used for platformer side on views where walls require multiple connections. But this is by no means a hard and fast rule. Okay, so. We're going to go for 47 because we're building our platformer. So I'm going to switch into Photoshop to just show you how I've done it. You can download these templates uh, for free. It, this is the 47 tile template which you have to adhere to. Okay. Now I just downloaded it. I'm going to upload this as a resource for everybody. This was free. And I've just got a grid over the top in Photoshop. So I, can, I can take that off. So you can see that's what it looks like. Um, let's have a look at the image size. It's 256 wide by 192 um, high and that means it's 8 by 32 squares effectively. So if I put a 32 by 32 grid over it, it looks like this. There you go. So what you have to do really is ideally probably create this as a layer and then just create another layer over the top and paint in your, um, your tiles. And I've done one, I've already, um, so I don't have to waste time doing it now. And that is this one here. And don't laugh at my art. Um, it's not my strong point. So I've tried to make sort of a grass sort of tile, which is the thing you saw right at the beginning uh, when I made the level. So this is a grass tile. Now you might be saying, well, uh, this has got a this has got a grid over it as well. You might be saying, what's this funny red square here? Um, well, that's kind of why it's like a 47 tile thing. Um, otherwise it would be 48. This needs to be transparent, this, this thing here. So you can, you can really just do what you want with it. Um, but just leave a 32 by 32 area, which isn't the tile, isn't a tile. Okay. Cause if you put a tile here, um, game maker will obliterate it when you make the tile set. So just make sure this first square, 32 by 32, is transparent or just non-tile, something else. Uh, so here are all the tiles. And uh, it's kind of really easy to do in Photoshop. If if you 
if you know how you use Photoshop, you can select, let's go back to the other thing. You can select these black areas all together using the magic wand tool. And you can select the gray areas the same. And then you can import some brushes and just brush over uh, the areas. It doesn't take long. But if you're good at art, you'll probably end up with something actually good um, in a short time, as opposed to me. Um, who isn't, but doesn't matter. I can still, you can still build things very quickly. So I just will get a designer, tell them how to do it. And there you go. So let's go now into Game Maker and start building the level. Okay, so here we are in Game Maker. Um, I've already created a couple of previous levels in this particular game using normal tile sets. Um, so we are going to create another level effectively and create the room inside that. Oh, there's a bit of thunder going on in the background, if you can hear that. So the first thing we do is create a room. You don't have to do this in this order but I just stand because I know that I want to create a room with, which is a new level. So I'm just gonna create the room first. Um, <laughs> what did I just do? Okay, don't do what I just did. I think I deleted it straight away. Okay, room three, there we go. We want it to be 1024 by 640 like the other rooms. I'm going to center it and drop it down a bit. I'm going to change the grid. I don't know why it's 16 by 16, but I'm going to change it to 32 by 32. And yep, toggle that, toggle that on. Now I'm going to create a layer, a tile layer here it out of the top and then drag it down after I've renamed it level three drag it down under instances because I really want instances to be at the top for the moment anyway I may not by the end of the game but I am for now so level three um, that's interesting why is my grid gone back to 16 but Oh, can't change that one for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Anyway, let's carry on. So we've got no tile set, so we need to create the tile set and add the tile set. So let's do that. Let's go assets. So step one is create the sprite. So we've already got the sprite, which is the, the image I showed you in Photoshop, which I've exported to a PNG. So I just need to create a new sprite and give it that image. Let's call it, let's make sure our names all make sense. So let's call it auto tile level three. Level three. Not sure if that's a good name or not, but that's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna import the image, which is SPR 47. I'll set and there we go there's the image and now we're going to create tile set and associate the image which is effectively step two it's called TSL auto tile level three and we're going to select sprite just realized some of my naming conventions there could be improved but uh, that's for another day refactoring exercise now the tile is determined to do 16 by 16 everywhere so I'm going to change that 32 by 32 so there we go there's all our tiles there's the one that's going to be transparent and now we need to now that we've got a tile set we can tell the layer that the tile set you want to use is the one we just created, TSL Auto Tile Level 2. Right, so we're nearly there. 
we actually need to do a bit of configuration on the tile set itself. So go back to the tile set. Um, if you're a bit confused here, on the right hand side you'll have the room editor which you'll be in now because you just created, you just set the auto tile set uh, to the layer. But you also got the asset browser. So click on the asset browser, double click on your tile set again. Now we have to do the auto tiling configuration here, okay? So notice on the left hand side here you've got in the editors, you've got a brush builder editor, you've got a tile animation editor and auto tiling. Now we will look at brush builder and tile animation um, in the next couple of videos, but we're going to look at auto tiling now. So click on that, gives you on the left hand side the tiles and on the right hand side the templates. There are no templates there at the moment. You can create a 47 template or a 16 template. As I explained, we need to create a 47 template. So let's click on that. Now, what you have to do is assign every tile to um, each space. And this red square in this uh, particular object or image is just a selection. So whichever one I'm selected on, um, I can click one of these to assign the tile. So now notice something a bit strange. In this template, the bottom right is empty. In my sprite template, the top left is empty. Now don't ask me why, I have absolutely no idea. It seems a bit bizarre to me and confused me for ages. But ask, ask the developers of this code, so I, I have no idea why that is like that. Maybe some mathematical reason, who knows. So the way you assign all these tiles, ah, by the way, if you've got this annoying toolbar over your, your, thing, your tiles so you can't even click it, just increase the width of the the dialog box uh, so that it comes off. Now, the way you assign is this top left is automatically assigned and, well, is automatically selected, I should say. Okay, it's not assigned yet, it's blank. You've got to assign it to the bottom right. This is that weird thing that I didn't get because um, bottom right is empty here bottom right is actually the top left tile. Weird, I don't know. So click on it and it's assigned. Automatically it goes to the next one. So now you can go in order and you're basically gonna click from here all the way down to here. So let's do it. And we're done. Now, Look on the right hand side. In your library, when you start painting in your room, you will see a library tab and that will have the tile in it. Now, I don't want it to be called Auto Tile 1, so I'm going to rename it to Auto Tile Level 3. Okay, so we can close everything, close that, close the tile set. And let's go into the room and let's start painting. So now we've got the tiles uh, view, which is like a normal tile set, which I can paint. You know, I could get one tile and paint that on here. Look, but see, it's all the same one. I'm just going to undo that. So that's your normal tiles view. You've got brushes, which we are not talking about today. Then you've got libraries. Now, I'm not exactly sure why it's called libraries, but um, in libraries, you have the auto tile that you, we just created. So just click on that and it's default size one. And so look, it does all this kind of stuff. Look at that, look at that. So let's put some Let's put some platform. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's put some platforms in here. How's that for a crazy, crazy, crazy level? Let's put a, you can even like, I can make this bigger. Let's make it massive. I could, I want to put a border around the whole thing like this. Well, you put ceiling. I'm going to put ground. Actually, I'm going to make ground higher. And I'm going to put something on the side. So what should I put? 
got on the side. Shall I just do? I can at any time. I can just go back to the tiles, and I could use the tiles, right? So I can, I could even go to a different tile set and use that. Um, so it's, it's incredibly powerful what you can do. And just to show you that we can do this, um, what I might do is just use that tile and change the size to one and do a line and cover that and do it like there do a line to there and I'm sort of done I think I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go back to the auto tile and I'm gonna put a little vertical platform here I'm gonna delete that erase that one and because my character is probably going to be 32 by 32 so he'll be one square high so he can wall jump onto there he can maybe we'll give him something here so he can ah hang on. give him something here so he can wall jump onto there and I don't really want that, um, so I'm going to change that back again. Being quite pedantic here. Yeah, there we go. So mix and match auto tiles with tiles, create a level um, very easily. So the only the only really hard thing is is um, getting that 47 tile set in the first place. Now you could download one, you could find one, you could create one. Look, if you're good at art um, and love drawing, you love digital art, I would highly recommend that you create one yourself because you are forever going to be um, happy that you created a game where you created all the artwork as well. Um, it's gonna be a massive achievement. Rather than what I do is just, you know, copy what other people have done art wise. But then I but then I'm happy because I do most of the coding myself, so um play to your strengths, you know. When you if you're working in twos, it's good if one of you's good at art, one of you's good at coding, or at least interesting coding, because we're always getting better at coding. Um, but there you are. Then that's the tile set video. In the next one, we will probably look at brushes, which will probably be super short because it's super easy. We'll see you next time.